Good morning, everyone. Today, we'll begin our discussion of business ethics. I'll start by discussing the goals of business ethics and corporate responsibility. Then we'll look into the reasons why people are concerned about business ethics and the impact of corruption. In other words, what can happen when companies don't behave ethically? After that, then we'll see how corporations can benefit from creating more ethical work environments. And finally, as you can see, some ways that they can go about doing that. So first, I'd like to discuss what business ethics means, what it aims to do. In general, the goal of business ethics is to give a company's employees a sense of how to do business responsibly. Let me say that again. Business ethics aims to give the employees of a company a sense of how, how to do business responsibly for all parties involved. Now, to do this, a company needs to consider its responsibility to all its stakeholders. That's stakeholders, by the way. Don't confuse this term with shareholders. Stakeholders are the people and organizations that have a stake or interest in the actions of a company. Stakeholders include its suppliers, employees, its shareholders, the clients, and the outside community. A lot of people are stakeholders in a company. So as you can imagine, Determining responsible or ethical behavior in a business is no simple task. A company needs to consider the interests of all these different stakeholders who often have very competing, very different interests, while at the same time attempting to make money, to make a profit. Is everyone with me? Okay, let's move on. So, Developing a sense of corporate responsibility and ethics is not such a simple thing to do. So why are, we, why are people so concerned with business ethics? Well, I'm sure you've all seen the news reports of corporate fraud lately, of white collar crime. I mean, gosh, it, it looks like business leaders today just don't have a conscience at all. Huh? At least not when it, gets down, when it gets in the way of making a profit. Like Enron, for example. Well, the fact is that corruption, meaning a lack of ethics in the workplace, has a big impact on business and the economy. That's why business ethics are important. That's the bottom line. So next, I'd like to look at the impact of corporate corruption, how it affects everything it touches. First, there is the obvious impact on the stakeholders, especially the employees and shareholders who lose their jobs, salaries, investments, when their companies experience scandals, or worse, go bankrupt. And entire communities can be affected when, for example, companies violate health and safety regulations. But the effects of corporate corruption can also go well beyond the company's immediate stakeholders. Let me illustrate this. A survey done in 2002 found that 70% of US investors felt that concerns about corporate corruption were hurting U.S. investments a lot. In other words, people are not willing to invest their money in a company if they have any fear that the company and the company's executives are cheating. And this lack of investment hurts not only the company, but the whole economy. Think you got the picture? When potential, when potential investors question the ethics of a company, they don't invest in that company, or they don't invest at all, which hurts the whole economy. So scandal can actually hurt the economy. Got it? Good. In addition to these investment issues, reports of corporate corruption have led many employees to doubt the honesty of all corporate executives. One study found that 
That's right. 91% of employees believe that most corporate leaders only care about doing what is best for themselves, not their employees, and not the company. This is especially important because it is those at the top, the corporate executives, who set examples for workers and create a corporate culture, a corporate environment, an atmosphere within the company that either encourages or discourages ethical behavior. You may doubt this, but it's true. Experts in corporate ethics have found that there is a strong connection between how employees view the ethics of their leaders and their own ethical behavior. Let's look at the evidence that supports this. Researchers found that 43% of employees surveyed believed their supervisors don't set good examples of integrity. And that same percentage, 43%, felt pressure to violate their company's ethics rules themselves. So does everyone understand these connections? Corruption at the executive level can have negative effects throughout a company. Okay, so it's clear that corruption can hurt companies. But is the opposite also true? Does encouraging ethical work environments really help a business be profitable, be successful? Well, the evidence shows that, that promoting ethics in business is not only important for avoiding scandals, but also for creating better work environments and more profitable businesses. So there's the answer more profitable businesses. And studies show that companies that are known for their honesty attract better employees. And employees who think their companies are ethical are more satisfied in their work and feel more valued as workers and are more productive at work. All good things. Many studies also indicate that encouraging corporate responsibility can often help a company perform better financially. Got it? These are really important connections to understand. Okay, now we've discussed the benefits of promoting business ethics. Let's look at how that's done. Some things that a company can do to create a more ethical environment. So, one thing a company can do is to develop an ethics program. This should include a written code of ethics that is communicated to all employees. In other words, a set of written rules or guidelines for its employees to follow. Also, smart companies train their employees in how to follow this code of ethics and regularly, regularly survey their employees to evaluate how well the company is following the code. This creates more accountability it makes all executives and employees accountable or answerable for their behavior. These types of programs do seem to work. A recent survey found that employees were more likely to report unethical behavior when their company had an ethics program in place. Okay, finally, we can't forget about the importance of teaching business ethics in our business schools so that future business leaders will have a solid understanding of how to behave responsibly before entering the corporate environment. So I hope that you can all see how developing strong business ethics can benefit you as an employee and perhaps a future executive. Next time, we'll begin to look more closely at how to make ethical decisions at work by looking at some case studies and actual ethics problems. That's it for today. Be sure to read the assignment and be prepared to discuss it next week. Bye-bye.